Hello viewers. Welcome to the channel Amazing Civil Engineering Studies. Time to enter the world of civil engineering. Here we will learn about different concepts related to civil engineering. Please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for more new updates. In today's video we are going to discuss about Building Construction Parts of Arches What is an arch? An arch is a structure constructed in curved shape with wedge-shaped units, either bricks or stones, which are jointed together with mortar, and provided at openings to support the weight of the wall above it along with other superimposed loads. Because of its shape the loads from above gets distributed to supports, pier or abutment. Parts of Arches Abutment, the outer wall that supports the arch, and which connects it to the adjacent banks. Span the clear horizontal distance between two support of an arch is called span. INTR adus, the inner curved surface of the arch is called INTR adus. Extrados, the external curved surface of the arch is called extrados. Crown, the highest point of the extrados is called crown. Rise, the vertical distance between the highest point on the INTR adus and the springing line is called, a rise. Springing point, the point of intersection of the INTR adus and skew back, is called springing point. Springing line The imaginary line joining the springing points of either ends is called a springing line. Voussoirs, wedge-shaped masonry forming the arch are called voussoirs. Springer in arch is the first voussoirs at springing level which is immediately adjacent to the skew back is called a springer. Keystone, the highest central wedge-shaped masonry used in the arch, is called keystone. Depth or height of an arch, the perpendicular distance between the INTR adus of arch to the extrados of arch is called depth of an arch or height of an arch. Spandrel the triangular space between the back of the arching i.e., the space between the tangent at the crown and the extrados, is called spandrel. Haunch, the bottom half portion of the arch between the skew back and the crown, is called haunch. Skew back the splayed surface of the abutment on which the end of the arch rests, is called skew back. Impost, the projecting course is provided on the upper part of a pier or abutment to stress the springing line. This course is called impost. Center of an arch the geometrical point based on which the arcs forming INTR adus of arch, extrados of arch and arch rings are described as the center or striking point. Thank you for watching. For now, please subscribe, like, share and do not forget to press bell icon.